search the nearby office at your home what you have to do which visa required visa protected stamp which documents are needed for this stamp and what is the process to get this stamp and you click on the find your PE office so it you can get your passport stamped from that department Hello guys, Assalamu Alaikum. This is again Dr. Faraz Ahmed and we are going to talk about a very important topic in this video. Like if you are coming to United Kingdom on skilled worker visa, so do you need a visa protector stamp? So in this video, we will discuss about which visa required visa protector stamp, what is meant by visa protector stamp and what is life insurance? How do I get my passport stamped? Like how to get the visa protector stamp? which documents are needed for this stamp and what is the process to get this stamp and after getting this stamp what are the next steps so first of all let's talk about what is meant by visa protector so stamp. visa protector stamp is basically given by to any pakistani traveling abroad on a work visa like if you are going to uk if you are going to saudi arabia you are going to uae you are going to usa whichever country you are going if you are traveling on the work visa then what you have to do it is an official pakistani government requirement and without having this protector stamp you will not be allowed to travel abroad from pakistan please keep in mind if you don't have this stamp on your passport the airport crew they can stop you on the airport if they check that you don't have this protector stamp on your passport in addition to allowing you to work abroad it will also cover you for your life insurance i will talk about this life insurance later on so the other thing is do i need a protector stamp the other way we can say this question is which visa required visa protection stamp visa protector stamp like if you are traveling on the visitor visa to united kingdom like you are coming for the plep to exam do you need a visa protector stamp or if you are coming on a standard worker visa or you are coming on skilled worker visa do you need visa protector stamp yes if you are coming to united kingdom on a visitor visa you don't need this stamp but if you are coming over here on skilled worker visa health and care worker visa tied to visa definitely definitely you need this visa protector stamp before traveling to united kingdom so the next thing is life insurance so if you are getting a visa protector stamp you must be thinking how i can get this life insurance like i am just getting a visa protector stamp and what is the relation of visa protector stamp with the life insurance yes this is the perk of this stamp like when you will be there to have the visa protector stamp you will get a life insurance as well so this is the perk of visa protector stamp you will get a life insurance when you will be there you will pay for the visa protector stamp and you will pay also 25 500 uh, for the life insurance as well to nominate anyone who is very close to you like if you are traveling alone you can nominate your wife you can nominate your kids you can nominate your father your mother your brother your sister you can nominate anyone so unfortunately if something happened to you while you are traveling to united kingdom they can what they can do they can claim back your insurance of 10 lakh okay so next important step of this video is which documents are required to get the visa protector stamp i am going to tell you all these documents one by one you have to take original documents and you have to take copies of these documents as well so these documents include the first of all your work permit your visa number second the contract or the conditional offer letter of the employment from uk or any other country wherever you are traveling so the third document is pakistani passport pakistani uh, cnic card next of kin information like if you are going to nominate your wife if you are going to nominate your father you have to attach their cnic card as well with all these documents apart from this you can take a medical report medical certificate from any of the hospital you can get this and one passport size photo so these are the documents you have to take with yourself while you are going for the visa protection stamp so to get the visa protector stamp on your passport there are a lot of offices available in the pakistan but unfortunately we don't have these offices in every city we have these offices in our big cities if you want to search if you want to search the nearby office at your home what you have to do i have given the link in the description you will click on this link this page of the bureau of the immigration and the overseas employment will open in front of you what you have to do you will click on the immigration 
immigrants over here and what you will do you will search find your pe office you will search over here here you can see that i have clicked on this button and here you can see these offices are in the atak bahawalpur bahawalnagar chakwal and everything you will click over here like i am from muzaffargarh and after selection of the muzaffargarh i will click on the find your pe office so it will take little time so in a minute this page will open in front of you and it will be showing the nearest offices to the muzaffargarh to my location so here you can see the nearby uh, pe office to the muzaffargarh is the chok rashidabad multan so this is so let's talk about the process of visa protection stamp so you have to take all these documents and you have to search nearby location where visa protection stamp can be taken you will go on the nearby location please keep in mind go early in the morning because this is a day long process so if you will be late by 12 they are not going to entertain you so go early in the morning after taking all these documents and to the desired location once you will go there once you will go inside the office you will see a board over there documents verification so you will see that document verification board and you will wait for your turn and you will go to that office officer who will be sitting over there in the document verification section if you are sitting in the verification branch they will see your documents and they will verify your documents yes your documents are correct your visa is correct your passport is valid your cnic is valid everything is valid then what they will do they will give you a chalan and please keep in mind the chalan will be including the visa protection stamp fee and the your life insurance fee which is 2500 so you have to pay that fee which will be mentioned on the chalan so there will be some nearby bank there could be national bank or some other bank and you will submit that fee after submission of the mentioned fee in the bank you will come back and you will wait again for your turn and then you will go to the same department which was the document verification department so you will show them your invoice you will show them your receipt that i have paid this fee in the bank and now they will give you a form you have to fill that form they will give you a form of the life insurance as well you will fill that form so in these forms you have to enter where you are going who is your sponsor who is your employer what is your salary and how long is your visa so you will mention everything over there and then you will fill the life insurance form as well who is your guarantor and who is going to receive the 10 lakh if unfortunately something happen to you so you will mention everything so after mentioning after filling those form you will return to the same officer and what they will do so once you will return all the form to them they will take your biometric and after taking your biometric they will take your picture as well so after taking biometric after taking picture and after receiving the field form they will say they will give you a token number and then they will say yes you can wait now and now you have to wait 3 to 4 hours minimum 3 to 4 hours you will wait over there and after this wait period you will go directly in and then you can get your visa you can get your passport stamped from that department one last thing which is very very important i would like to mention like once you will fill all the form and once you will submit the fee in the bank so with the receipt from the bank you will give all the documents to that officer with the submission of the uh, protector stamp form and with the submission of the uh, life insurance form so you will hand over all your documents to them and once you will come back with a token to get your passport stamp they will also return your documents as well please make sure you have to check here they have returned your all the documents so once they have returned your all documents with a stamp passport now your process is complete and you can go home so this is very simple process but unfortunately it take little long it will take your whole of the day unfortunately so in this way you can get your visa protector stamp once you will get your passport stamp and now you can go home and you can apply for your ticket and you can travel to united kingdom to saudi arabia to dubai or any of the country wherever you are going without any problem no one is going to stop if someone will stop you on the airport you can show them i I have this stamp on my passport and that's it so if you have any question regarding this visa protection stamp you can directly ask me in the comment box you can uh, follow me on the instagram you can directly message me over there i most of the time try to reply everyone's comment thank you very much by the way for watching this video